What is going on guys, MJ2105 Gunner here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Denkaki Hobby exclusive 1 to 144 scale Gundam Kestrel from Advance of Zeta the Traitor to Destiny. Developed from the Gundam Gulam Borsti with parts based on the Gym Type C Wagtail, it was originally intended for Cyber New Type Ross Weiser, but left behind and fell into the hands of the AU when the Titans moved their forces to space. And a big special thanks to my friend for letting me review the kit in exchange for me painting it. Now since this is a magazine freebie, the full body comes in the one white runner. As such, it is a very simplistic build that results in an immobile model kit that looks like it's permanently petrified. However, without my awful paint job and modifications in the way, it is pretty apparent that the Gundam Kestrel is very detailed on its surface. So at least the areas to mask will stick out to your eyes, and you're getting at least a good visual piece for something that is strictly for display only. The one thing that is really in need of the builder is to fill in the hollow insides of the weapons as they do really stick out in some angles. As for painting it up, if you want to take the easy way out like I did, I used a TS24 purple for the bluish sections, the standard red and yellow Gundam markers for their respective sections, the metallic black Gundam marker from Gundam Marker Metallic Set 2 for the joints, as well as the Molotov fluorescent green marker from the UV fluorescent pump softliner basic set 1 for the sensors. Obviously on top of a lot of masking tape and Tamiya epoxy putty for filling in the hollow sections on the weapons. One extra thing you can try to do is to try giving it a mono eye in the middle of the chest, as it does have one in the official setting while the head serves as just a decoy. Honestly, it's better to hand paint the smaller sections as mummifying the body parts just to spray in, let's say, the yellow sections, it's just more trouble than it's worth. All of those combined with my amateur skills produce a faithful but dirty representation of the Gundam Kestrel. Well, at least it's infinitely better compared to the monstrosity that is the sticker expansion set. Anyways, from freeing the Gundam Kestrel from petrification, it brings up the detail that is washed out by the pure white, and it also shows that the proportions and detailing are mostly accurate to the line art. And because of that, it would serve as a good representation of the Gundam Kestrel in 1 to 144 scale if Bandai never decides to release a high grade of the kit. For moving parts, only the head and feet are movable to some degree. Like I said, it's just essentially a statue. As for weapons, the beam rifle and the beam madu are included, and they simply slide into either hand or arm respectively. Unfortunately, there are no further conversion parts that exist to convert this kit into the maneuver exterior, the armor exterior, or the full armor kestrel, so it's a bit light on the gimmicks, unlike something like the uh, Furoku grade Gundam Raziel. As this is a statue that requires a lot of work to perfect the looks, I will not concretely say whether or not I would recommend it. You like the Kestrel, are too impatient to wait for a potential high grade, and have the potential funds and time to get the kit and perfect it, then go for it. If you're none of those things, then pass on it. The experience for me, even though it was my first time working on such a kit, was enlightening to say the least. Shows me what I need to work on in the painting aspect of things. However, this is a good enough representation for me to say that it's such a shame that there's no proper model kit of the Gundam Kestrel, as we are missing out on so many awesome features like the beam emitters all over the body for a generic looking Gundam. Either way, the kit looks good, and while my work may not be the best, it's still an enlightening experience that I'm glad to have gone through. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.